All right, hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about when to optimize instead of scaling, okay? So let's dive in. Hey, it's Brian Delaney, top 1% of all marketers and funnel experts in the world, and I'm on a mission to help you launch your expertise, grow and scale your business, and build your legs. In this video, we're gonna talk about when to optimize instead of scaling. So there are scenarios where you wanna focus on optimization instead of scaling, okay? And I know, like, you wanna just scale right out of the gate, right? Like, when I, when I'm, like, I love scaling, right? I love to be able to, like, let's go spend $5,000 a day on this campaign right tomorrow, right? But there's a, there's a time when it makes sense that you, you need to optimize first. Typically, that's first. And so, you know, in our, in our business, in our agency, uh, we have a phase, it's the third phase, and it's called optimization and scale. And the reason why it's the third phase is because it happens after the build phase. So things get built and then we launch them and then it goes into the optimization and scale phase. Now, optimization always comes before scale because you don't wanna scale something that's a dead duck, right? You wanna scale something that's a winner, right? So typically, uh, when you're gonna optimize your funnel, obviously you're gonna optimize it first, get the conversion rates where they need to be, get your lead acquisition rates to where they need to be, right? If you're running a webinar, you want them to be between five to 10 bucks. That's the typical webinar registration rate right now in the wealth category, right? Now, if you're getting $2 webinar registration rates, go hog wild, throw gas on the fire, let that puppy burn and just scale it to the moon, scale it as far as you can go, right? Uh, but if you're getting say $12 leads or $15 leads or $20 leads, well, you need to optimize it, okay? And there's a lot of different ways to optimize your funnel, your offers, the marketing messages. Like in my opinion, from my 13 years of experience doing this um, and helping thousands of companies, when, when you look at optimization, you need to look at three components, okay? So number one is you're, you're gonna need to look at, okay, I need to optimize my funnel, okay? Okay, that's how you sell what you sell. You need to optimize your offer itself, okay? That's the thing that you're selling, right? And you need to uh, uh, optimize your advertising, okay? Whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever it might be, you need to optimize that as well, okay? So you need to optimize not just the ads, right? Which should be a continuous thing that's being done, okay? You're gonna be, you're gonna have somebody do it, creating the copy, creating the designs, and then you're gonna have someone do tracking if you have it set up structurally, and if you have it structured right. Those are the three main main pillars when it comes to an ad campaign. So you're gonna be optimizing that or somebody's gonna be optimizing that. And you should never just have like one or two ads running. You should have a ton of ads running then you widow it down to the best performing ones and then you scale those up, right? That's just how this works, right? But don't leave out like when to optimize instead of scaling, okay? Usually and typically it's when you first launch your campaign, right? That's the time, right? You wanna look at, okay, you wanna look at your funnel, you wanna look at your ads and you wanna look at your offer right? And I like to e equate to, like, you've got to have all those singing, right? Like all of those things need to sing, right? And then once you understand, okay, great, my funnel's up and rocking, we've optimized it, our conversion rates are higher, we're happy with the lead acquisition rates, we're happy with how much it's costing to acquire a buyer, then it's like, cool, okay, now it's time to scale, right? Now it's time to throw some gas in the fire. Let's start adding, let's double our ad budget, let's double down, let's let's 10x our ad budget, let's 10x, let's, let's make, go from 1,000 a day to 10,000 a day whatever it is for you, it's kind of what needs to be relevant for your business, right? If you have any questions about when to optimize instead of scaling, I would love to answer any questions they might have. Drop a comment or question below this video. And that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm doing all of this content. Uh, if you're, if you want to get updates on content, you can go to brianglinney.com or shoot, you can go to YouTube, unless you're already on YouTube, you can subscribe and make sure you get updated as I release content, okay? And I'm not the one releasing the content, I have a team that's releasing all the content for me, of course, um, who is doing an, an absolutely incredible job. So, um, the other thing that you wanna consider is um, you wanna focus on doubling your ad spend first before scaling. So that's how I look at through the lens, right? I look at, okay, uh, number one, where do I break even? And number two, where am I doubling my money, right? So if I can look at my advertising budget and I can say, okay, I'm gonna put a dollar in, I'm gonna get two dollars out, Okay, that's typically when I'll scale, right? Now, a lot of times, okay, the base, based on, it's all based on how you architect your plan, 
okay? That's why I always talk about when you're gonna launch something, make sure you have the right strategy on what, what you're launching and how you're launching it before you launch it, okay? Because you wanna have the, stra the strategy laid out, okay? So the example is, I, I got a company that I launched from zero to 1.1 million and we did it in about 11 months. Okay, that's great, like that's super awesome. But the highest ticket program was 997 bucks. Okay, so, so it takes a lot of $997 orders to make $1.1 million, right? Whereas another company that I helped to launch, went, we did 10 million in seven months, okay? And that's because there's offers that are a lot higher than 997 bucks, okay? So understanding your overall strategy is gonna help you into understanding when to optimize and when it's time to scale, okay? If you need any help in this area, I'd be happy to help. I have a whole team behind me that'd be happy to help you as well. Check out briandelaney.com for three different categories of offers. The do-it-yourself stuff, which is all of the books that I've published and am producing. The webinars and the courses, all the stuff that you can do on your own time. You can consume, you can watch, you can go through it on your own, right? Even our free golden ticket is there as well in that category. Then you've got the done with you category, which is our coaching program, our mastermind, which has been known as one of the best in the world, in the marketplace that is right now. And then also the done for you category, which is all of our agency stuff, right? Everything from video production to branding, to copywriting, to funnel development, to technical stuff, all of that stuff exists over there. So if you need any help in any of those areas, that's what we're here for. I have a team of more than 20 people who are who stay in their lane of brilliance, operate in their superpower, and are continuing to become the best and, and becoming better and better and better and better, which is the smartest thing that you can do in your business. Become really great at what it is that you do, become the absolute expert, the go-to resource, the thought leader, the person, the category king in that category of whatever it is that you do, right? and then you'll become known for that and people will be drawn to you like a magnet, right? Again, thank you for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you in another video. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment and share some love.